Hey, Salawam, Salawam. Kwame Yasa Allah, Koholo Imla, Yahweh Basim Yawasai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, the body spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that saw here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yawasai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson from the Hebrew Israelite camp, um, the HIM. And just wanted to touch on this article with this um, Alabama mayor slash pastor, right? It says Alabama mayor and pastor dies by suicide after a blog allegedly outed him as a transgender woman. Now, here's the guy right here. You know, I'm not sure if he's an Edomite or if he's an um, Israelite. It's not a skin color thing. He could very well be an Israelite, though he kind of looks like an Edomite. So keep that in mind when you come into this truth. This thing is not a skin color thing. You got to you got to delete skin color all out of your mind, man, when it comes down to um this truth, because since the Israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, the Israelites look like all nations of people now. So you have to keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? Don't get into this one sidedness of, OK, a person looks like uh, a so-called white man. He's a so-called white man because th those terms are not biblical, white, black. Those are social constructs that's made up by the so-called white man, which is Esau Edom. That's his biblical nationality. And, you know, he comes from Abraham, Isaac and Esau. And if you come from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, you are an Israelite. So, you know, keep that in mind. You know, as you you know, if you newcomers that's coming into this truth and um, you start to do lessons, keep that in mind. You can't when you're out on the highways and byways, you can't just look at somebody and say, oh, that's a Edomite," and get to going into you going in on them. You know, you're going into slavery, this, 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 this and this. No, you have to just read the scriptures, bring out the scriptures and um, test their spirit, so to speak. But let's get into some of this. It says an Alabama community is thunderstruck after the shocking death of a local leader after their involuntary outing as a transgender woman. The advocate reports that a local conservative news online publication posted pictures of Mayor Bubba Copeland displaying his secret gender identity. Now, the scriptures talks about what's in the dark, man, shall come to light. You know? And I don't know why people get out here and get the plan with the scriptures, man. You know? You can't get out here and get the plan with these scriptures. It's best you leave these scriptures alone. Because really, in reality, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're basically saying that the Lord is a liar. Overall, that's kind of like what you're doing. You know, you're saying that the Lord is a liar. That, um... You can do what you want to do. The Lord accepts you as who you are. All these different things that the Christian church have come up with in the name of white Jesus is, is, is you know, getting a lot of people destroyed. Overall, that's that's pretty much about what's going on here, man. You know, they're, they're being destroyed because they're they're adding to and they're taking away from the scriptures, man. That's a very dangerous thing to do. It's best you just keep your mouth shut. If you're going to be wicked, just be fucking wicked, man. You better leave these scriptures out of it. For real, for real. Because the Lord would deal with you harshly, man. Okay, it says, Copeland, who serves as pastor of First Baptist Church in Phoenix City, died from an apparent suicide. County Sheriff Jay Jones told CBS, I can confirm he took his own life. Now, check this out right here. They have it in all caps right here. Uh, basically, this is a, a disclaimer, so to speak. It is very important to respect everyone's preferred pronouns. Because Copeland did not out himself and did not declare he wanted to be referred to as female, we will use the pronouns he and him. See? See how fucked up and corrupt this place is? They had they have to give you a disclaimer that we're not disrespecting the fact that he could have wanted to be a she or could have wanted to be called a her. So that lets you know how far how far Esau Edom's kingdom has fallen. And, and it gives you an indicator as to, you know, how close it is to the Lord's coming, man. That's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans repent. Because really, you are the Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. And this white Jesus character that they beat into our people during slavery, and it's still going on with our people to this very day, you got to get rid of that idol, man. Because white Jesus, white Christianity, it, it, it's... it's um. Is, 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 is white supremacy. 
They know full well that the scriptures doesn't describe the Lord as being some blonde hair, blue eyed white guy, but yet they push it. And then when somebody brings it to light and say, well, hey, don't the scriptures describe the Lord as being a dark, melanated man? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Then all of a sudden it doesn't matter. You see? Anyway. It says the 1819 News blog reported Copeland's online activities, which exposed his gender identity. The news website revealed that Copeland used the name Brittany Blair Summerlin. See this shit? <laughs> Man, on Instagram and Reddit. Allegedly, he posted raunchy pictures dressed in women's clothing. Can you imagine this big ass dude, man, in, in women's clothing, and raunchy pictures? Come on, bro. The news report was devastating to Copeland and contributed to his death. No, that, that, that didn't contribute to his death. He contributed to his own damn death. But the scriptures talked about this, man. And then, like I said again, hey, when you're dealing with these scriptures, you, you better be on point, man. You can't be adding to. Or taken away from the Holy Scriptures, man. Here you go out here supposedly to be a pastor. You're supposed to be teaching in the pulpit the, the truth of the Scriptures. And you out here doing something totally opposite of what the Lord said, man. Matter of fact, let's get that Scripture real quick. And I had this one too. Um, Luke 12 and 3, it says, Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. And that which ye have spoken in the ear... And closets shall be pro proclaimed upon the, ho the housetops. So basically, you know, the shit that he was trying to hide, <laughs> you know, his little background lifestyle, hey, that shit was brought to the forefront and he couldn't take it. Why couldn't he? Why couldn't he just come forth and say, hey, you know what? I made a mistake. I done wrong. Let me repent. You're supposed to be a pastor. You're supposed to be the very one that's supposed to be able to tell somebody that was in that situation themselves that, hey, look, repent, man. Turn from that, you know. The Lord will extend, you know, a hand of mercy towards you, so to speak. This motherfucker, he goes off and he just, he's like, uh-uh, I can't even take the pressure. I know it's going to be, he couldn't take the newspapers, the, the constant uncle, because you know people was going to be on his ass for quite some time. That was going to be something that he was going to pretty much overall go to the grave for. But when it comes to the scriptures, hey, you fight that, man, with the scriptures. Hey, look, I repented from that. I don't do that no more. You see? Let me see here. I'm trying to think how this is worded. Or oh, I might have I may have worded it wrong. Okay, but we got Deuteronomy twenty two and five. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord, Yahweh thy God. So, what the Lord is saying is, you know, uh, that word abomination, it goes off to, into basically being disgusting. You see what I'm saying? So, he was totally going against the scriptures, and it caught up to him. See, the, them, them, them spirits of vengeance that the Lord created. Let's let's get that too. You have to understand that there are spirits of vengeance that's out here. See, the the, the, the eyes of the Lord are, are, you know, are everywhere, man, through his angels. Those those spirits, man. And, you know, they bringing forth the reports to the Lord like, man, Lord, there's a guy down here. He's a pastor. <laughs> and he's out here doing that that, that, that thing that you tell him said not to do. He's, he's, he's adding to your scripture or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, when it comes straight down to it, man, you want to be very, very careful of how you're treating these scriptures, man. This is um, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach, um, verse 28. I'm going to go down to um, 31. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. At the time of destruction, they pour off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and death. Fire and hell and famine and death. All of these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, servants, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So these spirits of vengeance are just, you know, waiting to get. Yeah, Jake out here busting early in the daytime. Like, God damn. That was a whole clip dump. 
Salakia. That could have been some judgment on somebody right there. Anyway, the Lord created these spirits, and these spirits of vengeance are sitting around and just waiting to get their assignment. And you see what it says? It says they rejoice. They rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. They're ready. As soon as they get a commandment, they rejoice like, oh, we got somebody to go knock off. You know, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We got somebody to go get. See, this is very dangerous, man. It says, um, here you go right here. Just my wife knows about it. Copeland told the 1819 News blog. According to the New, New York Post. Okay, if your wife, well, where, I mean, your wife's supposed to be a help me. She's supposed to be like, baby. You know the scriptures goes against that. You're a pastor. You're the mayor of a city. You know, you should have, you know, if this gets out, you know, whatever, man. We're, 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 you know, anyway. It's a, it's a hobby I do to relieve stress. Huh? It's a hobby you do to relieve stress. Motherfucker, hit the gym. Your big ass can hit the gym and hit the big bag. You can hit the speed bag. You can grab some damn dumbbells. You can go for a walk. You can hit the treadmill, you know. You can go play some damn golf. Go shoot the basketball. You see what I'm saying? Something. You know, it's people that eat for straight hell. You could have just, uh, just been better off just continue on filling your damn belly. Well, I won't say that, you know what I'm saying? Because his ass is over. He, you know, he clearly sees morally obese, basically. So that's why I'm saying, like, how are you that damn big and you jumping off into women's clothing trying to look raunchy, man? To relieve stress. Why not have sex with your wife? God damn, that's the biggest stress reliever right there, man. It's getting down. That's your idea <laughs> for real, for real, man. It says I have a lot of stress. Okay, you got a lot of stress. Your wife should be handling that lot of stress for you. Crazy, bro. And I'm not medically transitioning. It's just a bit of a character I'm playing. I, I don't go out and seek solicitation or anything like that. Man, get the hell out of here, man. Come on, bro. I think, hey, this is the guy right here with Trump. He might be a damn Edomite. This, hey, this got Edomite um, activity all over it, though. I'm not going to front. This, def, this de most definitely got Edomite thinking all over it. It says, one of, um, in one of Copeland's online posts, the mayor asked, the advice, asked for advice regarding hormone replacement therapy. The news report elicited strong reactions from the community. Some residents supported Copeland. While others had strong adverse reactions to his gender identity secret. This shit is crazy, bro. It said, what does it mean to be your mayor? I've been mayor of the city of Smith Station for the last four years. Never in a million years did I think my first term as mayor would include dealing with the deadly tornado, global pandemic, and several student suicides. There is no instruction manual for this job. However, I do have my own personal manual, and that's my Bible. Oh, yeah? See, these people are a bunch of goddamn hypocrites, man, and liars, man. Now, this is why I'm telling you, man. Hey, it's best you not even, don't deal with the scriptures, man. You, you better lead this Bible along with your wickedness, man. If you're not going to be sincere, <laughs> hey, it could be deadly for you. It says God will sustain you through anything as long as you commit your life to him. See, and, and, and you know what? That, that That's Christianity. That's why Jesus Christianity for you. See, they're not telling you that the Lord will, will kill you for stuff like this. They're not telling you the other side of the Lord. They're just telling you the Lord is good all the time. The Lord is good. He loves everything. He loves everything. He loves everything. Come as you are. He loves you just as you are. You can just be as wicked as you want. He still loves you. No, nah, man, you got to teach the scripture. That's why they don't like the Hebrew Israelites. That's why they don't like... Uh, preferably GMS because GMS brings out the scriptures and it cuts them to the heart and they don't want nothing to do with the real scriptures. They'll tell you they're Christians. You know, as um, um, Elder Malcolm out in Chicago always say, you know, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. <laughs> it says, God, he says, God will sustain you through anything as long as you commit your life to him. Being mayor has been one of the most trying and challenging things I have ever done. However, looking back on over this, the last several years, we have accomplished so much to make Smith Station the best little city to work, live, and play in Alabama. You already know one of this probably one of the most racist places to live, you know, in, in, in the world more more likely. Anyway, it says after the news report came out putting this transgender transgender status 
Copeland released a statement. The article is not who or what I am. I apologize for any embarrassment caused by my private and personal life that has become public. This will not cause my life to change. This will not waver my devotion to my family, serving my city, serving my church, Copeland said. See? Copeland apologized to his congregation during his last, last sermon, adding that his wife knew about his secret gender identity online activities. The pastor was a pillar of his community. He met with Donald Trump in 2019, who praised how he handled the devastating tornado that nearly destroyed his town. Copeland shot himself following a slow pursuit by the police after they were su summoned to do a welfare check. They spotted Copeland driving his truck on the country road near his small grocery store. The police pulled Copeland over to ensure he was not thinking of harming himself after several people called for a wellness check. He exited the truck and fatally shot himself. And that's those spirits of vengeance. See, those spirits of vengeance, you know what I'm saying, had him put, put that gun to, you know, to his head or his mouth or whatever and had him pull that trigger, man. The details surrounding Copeland's death highlight the reality of social pressures and online judgment when someone considers coming out as transgender. The fallout can be more severe for those in conservative or religious communities. Well, he shouldn't have been dealing with the scriptures. He should have just came on out. He should have just been like, hey, look, man, this is what I'm into. You know, go ahead and be wicked. You're the wicked anyway. And here you go. They got the hotline, of course. If you have thoughts of suicide or concern that someone you know maybe resources are available to help, they got that 988 number, you know, that new number. They, hey, they said that number is off the hook, man. You you can barely, uh, well, I guess you can, hey, they said that the, the numbers have gone through the roof as far as suicide calls, man. They had to come up with a whole new number. It's supposed to be like 911, but it's 988. That shit is going through the roof, man. And why? Let's get this scripture right here. Let's go back a few chapters here. Ecclesiastes, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. See? And this is what you're witnessing in the Americas, man. Here you go. You got goddamn Palestinians running through this bitch, chanting, chanting down America. You see, they done ran the other group of people, who, you know, that they're against right now. They, they just they can't even come outside to play right now because they just scared as hell. Then you got all the, I'm talking about protests all over America. Where you think you in a whole other country. Then you got the so-called white man. He, he, you know, he, 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 he's trying to be the other gender. He can't handle the pressure, committing, and that's all over America. The, the whole alphabet um, 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 community, hey, they, they've been, they've been offing themselves. And then, you know, they just, they just been getting that judgment that the Lord spoke up anyway, because the scriptures are true. You, you, you do with these, hey, that's, let me get this too. Let me get this too, because this is very important to know right here. And this is what Esau has basically done right here. This is where Esau fucked up at. He should have just been the wicked that the Bible speaks of instead of putting his damn hands on these scriptures and giving you white Jesus and giving you a white God, giving you all these white angels, giving you white apostles, giving you white prophets. He should have just been the wicked that the Bible speaks of and kept on just doing wickedly, man. But in, in the meanwhile, what he tried to do is he tried to, he took, he whitewashed the scriptures. He took the scriptures. And told the whole world that, hey, this is us. We're the righteous people. He should have never done that. He should have just been the damn wicked. You know? Just go ahead and just be wicked, man. Psalms 15 and 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? What are you doing? You, you know, what, what's a cross-dresser doing with my, my scriptures and standing in the pulpit Claiming that I sent him. You don't have no business with the scriptures, man. And that goes for Esau, Edom in general. The so-called white man, look, y'all need to cut it out, man. Because, the, you know, a, you've been, been pointed out as being the wicked. You're that, that's, that man of sin, that son of perdition. And you're being pointed out, man. That's, that's, how, that's an indicator that we're in the last days. You have been pointed out as being who you really are. That fugitive status that you, you know... It, it, the Lord has pinpointed you. Everybody see who you are. Y'all running throughout the earth right now. Everybody is seeing that. God damn, y'all just bomb, kill, steal. Bomb, kill, steal. That's all y'all been doing lately. 
And the people starting to see it, it's like, well, God damn. And then you silly ass Americans, y'all won't stand up for your taxpayers' money going towards the shit that's going on over there in um, Palestine right now or, or over, there, over there in Israel right now. Your money is going towards fucking up kids, fucking up the elderly women, fucking up, you know, pregnant women, the babies. And y'all not and, and you're not saying nothing. Why? Because this is what the so-called white man has done. He got his hands on the scriptures. He done fooled y'all into thinking that they're the original people of the scriptures. And y'all just like, well, we got to go along with it because it's prophecy from the Bible. Not knowing what the Bible is talking about. When it comes to you, you don't even know who these people really are. But that's how food the, the, the uh, uh, Esau Edom, he's run throughout the world. and He has really fooled all these nations into thinking that he is God. And I got to get that, too. Let me get that, too. But let me get this um, as well. Let me get 16 back again. Psalms 15 and 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh saith. What hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. Here you go. You hate instructions, but you got the instruction book. <laughs> you see, you hate fuck, you hate instructions. Because if you loved instructions, you first off, it wouldn't even be legal here in this Christian country that you're calling a Christian country. For you to even um, 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 act in that manner, first off. But then over in, in, in the Holy Land, in Tel Aviv, they over there, hey, that's Pink City, man. They, they, that, that's the, 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 the stomping grounds for the, the ABCDEFG. How are they the people? Don't the scripture say that when, when, when the people go back to the land as far as prophecy, that things will come? We're supposed to be living in a better state right now. The whole fucking world is out of uh, 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 in disorder, man. Them being there, we should be all living um, great right now. We should all be living by the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord and living in peace. No more wars. Come on, bro. Anyway, let me go and get this real quick, though. This guy said he was doing that shit to relieve stress. Well, goddamn, you got a woman? You got a wife? You're not relieving stress, man, in the bedroom? You know? I don't mean to sound graphic. She's supposed to be, you know, toppy toppy or something. Like, damn, you you the man is the pastor and he's the man. He's saying he's stressed. Where you at with the massages? You supposed to be walking on his back or something. God damn. Please get yeah, um um Slakia. Second Thessalonians two and three. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed in the son of perdition. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Here you, you don't whitewash all the pictures. Showing everybody that you Jesus, showing everybody that you God, you y'all the angels, you know, y'all the y'all the, the damn disciples, y'all the apostles, y'all Mary, Esther, y'all, y'all damn everybody in the scriptures. But when it comes straight down to it, you're not keeping nothing that's in the Bible. What are you what are you doing with the scriptures, man? And then you'll get on, uh, you know, go, go, go and make these public announcements that the Lord still loves, He loves everything that you fucking doing. But you see those spirits of vengeance. You see those spirits of vengeance? Here you go. You driving slowly in your F-150. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle people knowing what the fuck you done done. You know? You done stood up in the pool pit. You done already told the people. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you know, whatever, whatever. Why did you have to go to the length that you went? Those spirits of vengeance, man. Lord is not playing no games, man. Y'all better quit playing with the word of of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, man. Straight up. As a matter of fact, and check it out. Listen, you know, I'm going to show you how, how you could tell that these are Edomites pretty much overall. And they really do believe in white Jesus because of the comments. Now, this person did kind of speak on it. He says, you know, well, you are the leader of a church. It's kind of a requirement to teach the truth. If you can't do that, stay out of the pulpit. Hey, I say that myself. 
Now check this person out. This person says, and he probably, I don't know, that the, even the damn icon looked like, I don't know, what the hell. It says, I am so sorry society let you down, sir. No, he let his own damn self down. I do not understand the whole gender switching thing that people do. Okay, so if you don't, then what the fuck are you talking about? But I don't care how people dress. Come on, man. See? Here you go. Or what they call themselves. If they're a nice person, I would be nice back. So sad this happened. See that? Oh, boy, I tell you. You got this one person. Here. God don't, doesn't make mistakes. He was exactly as God made him. Period. So sorry that fake Christians would drive you to feel that you had to do this. No, fake Christians didn't drive him to do that. He did, it's those spirits of vengeance. And don't get me wrong. Hey, the Lord, hey, he created evil. He created good. He created um, um, uh, the alphabet people. He created every single last one of them. Everybody is in their lot, man. Everybody is doing what, they, what, what, what the Lord designed them to do. You see? But you still can't go against the scriptures. <laughs> the scriptures is the scriptures, man. But he, hey, he created even these people in these comments boards to say the shit that they're saying. You, you can't understand the mind of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The scriptures talks about how the Lord's ways are higher than our ways. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that. The Lord's ways are higher than our ways. You would never fully comprehend. Because you can say, well, hey, why did the Lord create? These people. Why did he create them like that? And, and you know that's being that's asked in the New Testament. Why would the Lord? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why would he judge these people if he created them basically the way that they are? Hey, but, <laughs> I guess we'll see someday. But in the meanwhile, hey, hey, like I said, the Lord's ways are higher than our ways, man. Yeah, try and try and try and guess the weight of a flame, man. You know, try and see the image of a voice. You know, try and try and you know figure out how the Lord put a sun a sun together or a moon together or the stars together. This is Isaiah fifty five and nine. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. See, the Lord's ways are far, man. You would never comprehend how the Lord gets down, man. We run with the scriptures and we keep it <laughs> scriptural, man. It is what it is. Let me see what else they got. This person says, man, people are mean. Why go out of your way to publicly humiliate someone? We all have skeletons. And as long as no one is getting hurt, leave them be. See? But you're being a goddamn hypocrite, man. And, and then again, he probably wasn't even in the pulpit preaching on that, though. Because a lot of these pastors don't. They don't. They don't um, um, stand in the pulpit and, and tell the people the judgments of the Lord for those particular types of lifestyle. Especially not these days. You know, it's really becoming. That's how we know that the famine of the word is coming too. Because you can barely speak on anything if you're not agreeing with the wickedness of this place. Then you're outed, man. You're you're basically canceled. So people are really afraid to speak up on anything, and that's what the so-called white man has created. He has created a place where I bet I say nothing. They're going to mess with my money. <laughs> That's pretty much it. This person says, so sad that someone did this knowing the hate that he would now face. I hope whoever outed him without his consent faces charges and family takes every penny they have. Get the fuck out of here, man. It says he made it public by telling the 1819 news blog. See? Yeah, he did. This person says, while people are sick with these comments, this is such a sad story and people are just filled with hate. Nah, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. But see, this is what I'm saying. You see? And, and there's a, let me get one more scripture. I'm going I'm to go ahead and get out. I don't want to keep this long, but um, what's that? Uh. See, in, in this younger generation, they have no idea, man, what's to come. The Lord is about to scrape, y'all. The Lord is about to scrape this whole thing, though. Y'all about to get scraped. Y'all done been set up for the for the for the real fall, man. Because because this place is at the height of his wickedness. Proverbs seventeen and fifteen: He that justifies the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
And that's what you're seeing in these comments. Most of the comments, they're they're justifying the wicked. They're justifying this man's wicked ass acts. And they don't understand that the Lord, he kills and he makes alive according to Deuteronomy 32 and um, 39. It says that the Lord kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals. He said, actually, there's no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And I'm sure that is um, big news down there. In the, in the, in the, in, but, you know, you know, a lot of these smaller cities, yeah, they're, they're, you know, that, that, that will rock your community. Everybody talking about that shit. It'll be talked about for quite some time. They're going to have to find a new mayor. They're going to have to find a new pastor to lie to them. You know, but anyway. I just wanted to touch on that. I didn't want to keep it long. I just know that hey, we're in the last days, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Um, because, hey, this family of the word is coming. There's coming a point where, hey, the so-called white man, he's really shutting down goddamn speech right now. This man is going hard body. I might have to, um, you know, um, do a lesson, um, you know, if the spirit permits. But this man is going hard body to shut down speech, man. You can't say nothing out here. Or I would say that, you know, so... Media wise, they they most definitely are are they they're shutting down anybody that's saying anything against anything wicked. If you're coming up against their wickedness, if you're coming up against their wicked ways, if you're they're gonna put out a headline, they're gonna put bots, they're gonna have people, they got an army of people online typing, you know, coming up against you. They got a, a, a army of people, you know, that's in the newsrooms, they got an army of people that's coming up with um ways to you know, um, um, basically to shatter your life, to make you seem as if you're you're a nutcase or you you know you're um you're you're you're, you're anti this or you know just a bunch of bullshit, man. They had the the resources and the media to actually push this shit, and people can't think, man. These motherfuckers, these people don't care nothing about. If you're not talking about football, basketball, hockey, you know, or some fucking place to go and fill your belly or eat or drink. Or some type of gossip. People don't give a shit about nothing new, or I mean, or nothing real. They don't care, man. They, 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 they. You know. But it's gonna all hit them all at once. That's gonna be the thing. That's how you. Hey, when the Lord said that He's gonna come like a thief in the night, it's gonna catch all these fuckers off guard, man. That's why it's so important to right now get all that you can. Stay into this truth. Get all that you can because we're we're at a serious, um, um, um point in this in this truth where hey, this place is about to go so continue on praying man continue on fasting hey, continue, just stay focused man don't let nobody get you unfocused man because i'm not gonna front you know hey this place could be stressful it is it, be definitely pray for the brothers as well because when the brothers are going through a lot of these lessons and they're going through they're scouring through these news channels and they're looking at the news that shit is vexing as hell man and it can take a toll on, on, on a brother so pray that that brother can, you know, be lifted in the spirit and that he can continue to go forth and speak boldly. That's very important, man. Pray for the brothers, man, that they are able to, to continue because if this shit is it can it can get you. You know, you have to, you know, keep those scriptures in mind. Hey, look, this is just what the Lord wants us to do. You can't let it overwhelm you because it can. You know, it can. I'm not going to even front. I'd be looking at some of this shit like, God damn, you know, like, Lord, I'm so tired. Like, Lord, when, you know, <laughs> you know, like, when is this thing going to be over with? You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, the scriptures pop in and this Holy Spirit kicks in and, and it gives you that 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 boost, man. You know, you got to put you put your phone on charge, so to speak. Let that phone charge back up, man. It works better when you're on 100 <laughs> percent, you know, so to speak. You know, you get what I'm saying. But hey, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. You know, uh, praying that you're having a, a, a good Shabbat. Uh, and um, the new Shabbat is coming up on, uh, what is that? Uh, I posted it. November 12th, Sunday sundown, the Monday sundown. So basically, it will, it will be uh, like a 48-hour Shabbat, so to speak, because we still got to finish out Saturday sundown, the Sunday sundown, and then the following sundown, Sunday, it's going to come in again. So it's going to basically be like a, it's going to run a, a consecutive 48 hours, so to speak. Because like I said again, hope I'm not confusing anybody. Right now, it's going to be Saturday sundown. It's Saturday sundown to Sunday sundown right now. Next week, it'll be Saturday sundown to Sunday sundown. But it's going to start a new moon on Sunday sundown. Sunday sundown to Monday sundown, November 12th. So like I said again, it's going to be like a 48 hour 
little consecutive hookup. You know what I'm saying, so to speak. So you know, and we're just you know we're keeping the um the righteous acts of uh, of the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying. We know that we're not in our kingdom. We know that we, you know, we're not um, you know, able to do exactly what we were supposed to do. But you know, at the Lord, He sees it. You know what I'm saying. He sees that we're trying. He understands that we're in captivity, and you know, we're just praying to get the hell out of here, man, so we can do it the right way in the kingdom. So with that, Kwame Ashala.